Now, what does this all mean for the Republican Party? Not just in November, but for the long-term future. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth has been following the campaign for months now. He's at the live desk, and Patrick, it hasn't hurt him yet, but some Republicans are saying they still won't support Trump. Now, Rick, I spoke to a couple of local Republicans who say they're very concerned about Trump's nomination. The campaign was so long and got so nasty, especially here in Indiana, that some people wonder if anyone can unite the Republican Party. And so, with a heavy heart, but with boundless optimism for the long-term future of our nation, we are suspending our campaign. All the other candidates in the Republican primary have dropped out, but there are still more questions than answers. Could you support Trump? I tell you, he's not my party. He's not an example of what I've always believed in. I'm really struggling with that. I think a lot of it's going to depend on who he chooses as a running mate. More importantly, on this evening and for Not only has Trump launched some of the most staff, blistering personal attacks on his opponents and sometimes even their families, he's also taken some of the most deeply held beliefs of the Republican Party and turned them on their head. He is throwing a wrench into what that party uh, has, has stood for um, over, the, over the past uh, decade or so and, and causing some uh, discussions on what the future looks like. If Trump does not moderate or at least slightly change his tone and his policy details, then I, I think, yes, you could have a serious split within the Republican Party. If you want While to the Republican Party might be looking at a no, long-term no, split, the more immediate question is, can Donald Trump unite the party enough to win in November? I just think that it's pretty obvious what his character is. And I can't go there. I can't accept him as a president. Uh, that's something the Republican Party might be dealing with for a while. And we should note that a poll by Rasmussen from earlier this week actually shows Trump ahead of his presumed Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton, by two points. But a couple of other polls, including one by CNN, has Clinton up by double digits. Although, as anyone who's been following this race can tell you, polls haven't meant an awful lot this year. At the Live Desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT 22 News.